One thing I wanted to find, which I don't see, I would like it to not mute when tabbed. Doesn't look like it's an option. Okay, let's check out Empire of Sin. First look. Alphonse Capone. Nice to meet you. Ah, to be able to go back and change the volume of the characters. Good choice. Oh, do I choose between the? I don't, okay, I guess I don't even know yet. Okay, deliver into the lady Eve. Daniel, I'm your man, Frank. R nice choice. Soy la reina de. Hey, good choice. Come on, va. All right, we gotta start one to see what they do. This quick start, you think? You and me, we're gonna clean up this town. Brewery upkeep minus fifteen percent, easy amb ambience cost minus twenty percent, diplomatic bonus turncoat. Good choice. Brothel ambience casino. Right generation. All right. New game. Enemy factions. Is there no tutorial for this game? Okay. Guess we're gonna find out. Good morning, Nobu. How are you? You're awfully quiet back there, friend. Wait, do I have to do something? I just assumed he was being quiet. Oh, I have, maybe I have to click. I have to click dot dot dot. Of course. Yeah. Some white lightning. Ah, yes. Don't got much to say, huh? We'll see. That's fine. I think we chose the but brothel owner, actually. Go. Take me to Fulton Market and leave me in peace. Huh. Take me to this place. Now, leave me in peace. Sure, I do have a job offer. A brothel is opened up near my mother's place. You help my pal ZZ close it down. I'll give you 500 each. And if you take over the place, please don't build a brothel there. Some dames, exactly. It's funny, I actually hate this time period mostly. Or uh, fantasy settings, but we'll see. Or uh, fictional settings, I guess. I'll look into it. Good. Sal La Mancha is my name. I'll be in touch. The cab driver gives us missions. Weird. Sal as a reina is mine. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I was watching um, Artosis last night for a little bit of uh, SC2 streaming. I was watching Grubby cast uh, some of the Warcraft 3 uh, big tournament thing this morning. And I was sitting there going like, man, I wish I was playing a game at a high level again. I need to find a game that I can really get into. I wrote a science fiction story with the bot program to use 1920s slang. That's cute. Yeah, you wrote sci-fi. When did you write sci-fi? All right, show me the ropes. Oh, thank God. All right, awesome. Immediately happy with this. There is both a tutorial going in and the option to skip all future tutorials. Alright, have a look around. Move the camera left, right, and up, down by pressing WASD or by moving the mouse cursor. Sure. Great, now rotate. Q and E, yep. Even rotates the correct way, good. Uh, all early stuff for you, I see. Zoom in and out in the wheel or by pressing X and Z. Yeah. Move, right click on the destination under the arrow. Chicago is a dangerous place, and in order to survive, you're gonna need to learn how to fight. I'm gonna have to turn the volume up again for the talking. Right where you can find one. 
All right, can I get to an options menu from here? Good. All right, let's get character volume up. Yeah. Hapsy Hapsy. Yeah, man. Um, this was on our radar, and we got a key. I got a key actually this morning. So, uh, check it out. Looks like my internet works. I'm still at the office. So, um, sure. All right. Left click on the building and enter to head inside. Sure. Ah. Uh, oh, that's a right click. Okay, sure. Right click and enter. I'll do it. What's the fiber? Type of internet connection. Alright. This joint belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. He calls himself the boss of the meat packers gang. Okay. Control is ambush. Uh, obviously I will ambush. Combat is turn-based. The queue of characters waiting to take their turn is above, and the turn order is decided by a character's initiative stat. If enemies are I'm gonna turn the volume up again in a second. This is the first game I've played in probably like five years, so I've had to turn volume up. I did turn it down initially, to be fair, but I thought it was pretty restrained. So we'll see. All right, uh, turn order, initiative, turn-based combat, great. Enemies are allied with the boss. That boss is also shown under their portrait. Cool. I actually thought I was getting into, um, I didn't realize this was going to actually be combat oriented. It's kind of interesting. We'll see. It's been, a, it's been a while since I've done the, uh, the initial pass on this game to see that it was something I wanted to check out. So I actually don't remember what the hell we're getting into right now. But we'll find out. All right. So this guy is cowering in the corner. How do I tell what the boss is? I can't click. Can I see information about them? Oh, I'm probably getting tutorial locked right now. Okay. Single action I guess I'm just doing what they want me to do then. Uh, it's not total tutorial. So AP. Are the stars AP, you think? Nah, it's gotta be the uh still the gold uh, things at the bottom. Okay. One AP to attack. Melee AP. Fire a barrage of shots at all enemies with within range. And there's Overwatch. Are these hotkeyed? Let's find out if four. The hey, they're hotkeyed. In combat, yes. you can move or choose an action from the action bar. Some actions require a target. It's your turn. So fire a Quitters shot. Never a win. Choose another. Thank you, Adiki. Welcome back, man. Hi, Filthy. Thanks for the years and years of great. Content. Move or choose an action. Each action requires a target. Okay. It's your turn, so fire a shot if you got a target. Choose another action or move into cover. You can choose targets by pressing tab. Okay. I want to use this one to shoot them both. You should run. Uh, call a dog. Uh, uh, Dude, he uh, does uh, just wave them around, doesn't he? Okay. Who's stacked faction standing? We steal their cash. We don't get any any loot. Okay. Take loot. When you win a racket, you have several options. Let's take this place over and make it ours. All right, take it over. And let's make this a speakeasy. Taking a place over costs less than buying it outright. And it's free to keep the racket type the same. All right, I thought we were... The mission said we were going to a brothel because he didn't like the fact that uh, the brothel had opened by his mother's. Now, this suggests it's a speakeasy, which I don't think is a brothel, right? Is it just a bar? Okay. Rename building. Mm hmm. What do we call this? Filthy sanity? What do we, 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 chat, you guys gotta help me with naming, naming our buildings immediately. Hey, Stravis. Four months, welcome back. Took over a brothel or turning it into a speakeasy. No, that's not what the tooltip said, Mark. The tooltip said um, it's free to keep it the same type of racket, and then it showed it as a cost change to move from presumably brothel to brothel was a cost change. 
and then speakeasy was free, which suggests that I just took over a speakeasy, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Alright, Filthy's last sin? No, no, Filthy's first sin, maybe. That's probably what we gotta call that, that's not a bad name. Yours, and that's how it's done. Oh wait, when we go and attack people, we just leave the corpses around and carry uh, workers with us? Excellent. Alright. Right click on the icon. Left click. You got four different ways you can class up the joint, starting with security. The information panel to the right shows your security's current state and what you'll get in the next upgrade. Select upgrade to go to the next level. All right, security one, I assume, means we already have it, or this is what would happen if we did. I need to move this around, but I'm getting tutorial lock. That's fine. Uh, all right. So what am I actually seeing here? Next upgrade, upkeep two, two bucks. Security 50, moderate level of security, minimum level of security, total number of guards, three external, internal. Okay, so go, they want me to go to X, the upgrade, sure, we'll just do that. Going to moderate, so we're going to that, okay. Confirm. You can rush the upgrade by selecting the rush button. Go ahead and do that now. All right. Ow. Uh, considering upkeep is two bucks, I, would, I don't even know what the time frame is, week or a day, doesn't matter, month even. Um, doesn't matter, I mean, the cost of 1300 is a huge cost compared to that, right? Okay. So the rushing is very expensive. Get yourself a band. Upgrading ambience improves your draw. Higher draw means more customers and more money. Select upgrade to add a band. Okay. We'll add a band. Go ahead and rush the band too. I'm sure they're used to it. Select rush. That's what I'm talking about. Looks great. Now, let's get out of here. You got other work to do. All right, so we built our first bar. We added a band. Miguel, Derek, Neil, and Janet. Crushing it. All right. Look at that. Oh, the corpses went away too. Nice. Gunfire attracted some of the local criminals. Glad to hear I'm done with my home internet saga. I'm not done with my home internet saga. Tomorrow, to and tomorrow they connect fiber. Tomorrow night, the next day, etc. I will be testing the fucking internet to make sure it's actually doing what promised, what is promised, and then is moving home. But fingers crossed, we're getting close. Fingers crossed. How good is fiber? It's really important. Things like regular bowel movements, etc., are going to be impacted by that, Mark. Yeah. Gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent, and they're looking for work. If your empire grows, you can gain access to bigger and better hired guns. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Literally, like, we just shot somebody, some guys come up off the street, and they're like, hey, you, you hiring? So. <laughs> come on, Mark. Come on. How good is it? Do you mean what speed is it, or do you, or do you mean like that's that's what I just finished saying, right? Is that I, I gotta test it once I get it to make sure it is good enough for streaming. It ought to be, but um, the broadband ought to have been good enough too. All right, how do I? Okay, they want two percent. Wait, I pay my employees on a percent base scale. That seems dumb. Why would I not? Why would I do that? Traits: immigrant, gang leader, fled to America, shoots first, hair trigger, and angry. God. She's an enemy. Wait, Clyde Malone is an enemy. She's in love with Bruno. Friends with Gail and friends with Polly. Okay. Uh, it's not even a speed test I'm worried about. Um, all the internet I've purchased at my location so far has provided the speeds they said they've spent uh, that they will give me, but that's not what it, the problem is. So it's going to be consistency. Um, I'm ordering um, 50 up, 50 down is what I'm ordering. I have basically unlimited upgrades for terms of how much higher I could make that if I want. I think they will service gig up, gig down at my location with fiber if I want. It just gets extremely expensive. So I'll start with 50-50 and see if that's enough um, or, or good enough. It should be, um, but we'll see. 
running an internet service wow. provider. You're right. Empire of Sin. Maybe we can drop some ISPs down. I will certainly attempt to. Uh, you think I started in normal difficulty? I'm on the tutorial right now, Itadiki. I'm expecting to restart as soon as we finish this tutorial, but we'll see. But thank you. Okay. Uh, traits, poverty, religious, boxer, birds of a feather flock together as a trait. Brave and Im uh, immovable. Can I... Probably if I select one. Oh no. So I need to know what those traits do going into it. So that woman loves Bruno, and this person is an enemy of Bruno. So we definitely don't want to hang her, hang, uh, hire them both. Okay. ISP is in 1920. Sure. All right. No problem. Up front, zero. Monthly take 2%. I can't negotiate it all, so I guess it's just their cost. Oh, That's man. fine. Your crew members have a take. Their price for working with you. The take is based on a percentage of your gangsters range from professional hitmen to shockingly wayward hmm. criminals. They have opinions about the people they work with, and their personalities and traits develop over time. You'll find gangsters looking for work out in the world and in the black book. We'll take a look at that later. As you become Got a problem? Powerful, you'll gain access to more hardened, skilled gangsters. Cool. Now, hire your second crew member. I can't believe I have to hire someone who is immediately in opposition to the first one. Well, maybe we want that in our organization. We want our members in opposition. Gracias. Why is she like twice as loud as anybody else so far? Okay. Maybe I've upped the wrong volume. I thought I was upping uh, narrator volume when I upped character volume, but maybe they're different. All right. To create a squad. Because those are really loud. Sound settings, aren't they? So, what do I do to get just normal... Maybe I leave that at master volume and over aggress. Maybe I just overdo these. All right, let's try that. Okay. Perfect story conflict by hire both. That's true. That's true. Good morning, guys. All right. To create a squad, hold left click, hold right. Dude, Who's I can never remember. This? I think it's. I think the left. I love that instead of using left mouse or right mouse, the games uh, do this where they highlight the one that's supposed to be, but I can't tell which is highlighted. Is the black highlighted or the white highlighted? I'm sure it's white, okay. Hold to draw a selection. Left Who's click that? to hold a selection. Okay, there's left click. All right. Now you got yourself a squad. Just in time to. My new speakeasy isn't going to last long without alcohol. Yeah. It's the resource that makes your world go round. Accurate. It just so happens Ronnie O'Neill's got a... Who's this? Let's take it over. Zoom out to the world map to see where it is. If I zoom out enough, I get a different map, okay? Outside the click outside the brew. Right click outside the brewery to head there. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's only like four buildings over too. Should be easy. Fantastic. You're under attack by the meat packers. Well, we obviously will fight them. Right. That us? The meat packers were expecting you. Hopefully, they've also expected their funerals. Let's take them out. Okay. You think the police are a big part of this game? Because we've already so far violently murdered. Like in this, in this like one block, we okay. A lot of deaths in this area. Okay. So map's pretty tiny. I don't yet know. There is a cover system. All right, can I see my traits in combat? Left and right click do not open interfaces. So it doesn't look like I can check my traits in combat unless there's a another way to do that. Open character sheet is binding the I, either I or L. Uh, all of the rest of these are capital, so I assume that's I. I like interactables. Alt. Pause world is P. What's spacebar do? Spacebar currently doesn't do anything. Execute action. That might. Is that supposed to be spacebar? I'm not sure. 
Focus on primary safe house. Focus on boss. Focus on selected character. Next target. Okay. Auto group. Pause world. Okay, so we're going to try I. Hey, that's what I was looking for. All right. So we do have stats. Welcome back. You, Professor Pandemonia, for the reason. Morning to you as well. All right. We have a defensive bonus, a movement stats. All right. Armor class up here. Cool, cool. Shit ton of traits. Immigrant gives him minus initiative and minus movement. A weird set of stats associated with that tag. Blood to America gives him reduction in time taken to learn boss talents and minus loyalty gain. Boxer. Maybe this is not minus. Maybe these are pluses. Maybe this is 10% initiative, 10% movement. It does say reduction, and it'd be weird to... I think these are dashes, like bullet points. But given with a minus or a plus on a trait, that would make more sense. All right. So 10%, but I don't know how to then interpret. What's 10% loyalty gain? Like, is that a bonus of 10%? Because the first one is a 15% reduction, and it would be weird to have a minus 15% reduction. All right, I don't know what the fuck that means then. So, boxer. This has got to be... This has got to be bonuses, right? There's no way a boxer makes you worse in melee. Okay. So I'm going to assume it's bonuses. But then this one then goes here. When the, on the fourth trait, these are now pluses. This one is plus one movement, plus ten initiative. What the fuck? Hundred percent chance to activate hair trigger or minus. It can't be minus a hundred percent chance. There's gotta be. There's gotta be. I think some. I think the lists are just inconsistent. I think, for example, this one here is saying ten percent melee bonus, fifteen percent reduction in time taken to learn boss talents, ten percent intimidation bonus, and then um, ten percent income out of neighborhood speakeasy income. I think. I'm just looking through the rest of what they have. Whenever this person's HP or an ally's HP drops below 25%, there's a chance to lash out and attack a random target. That doesn't seem very helpful. Marksmanship goes down by people around me. Sullen. 26 rounds of this. So you get temporary traits as well. So these are permanent traits. These look like temporary traits. Empire Brothel. Okay, and these are other traits. You know, draw threat generation. Okay. Yeah, that's what I just said, Professor Pandemonia. They're dashes, the, the, like a like a bullet point list, but just dashes. But some of them don't make sense, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, is there like an associated thing over there? Like, do I see? So there it does look like there's. Okay, so we should be able to say in melee, right? Yeah. So here it says. So that that answers the question for us. Thank you, um, Tragic Booty, for the suggestion, right? So. Base melee is 66. We get 10% from Boxer. Yeah, so those are dashes. So those are lists. Okay. Notoriety is currently 5 of 1,000. Doesn't get a lot of notoriety for killing people. So maybe this is notoriety between other gang members or other gangs. And we look like we have a ragdoll of 9 items. Cool. All right. That's what I just, I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see what we were working with here. Okay, so we are killing all the enemies. There are two of them. And I see what the meat packer guards do. No. Just my people. Yeah. You're here for the frustration. The game has so much potential, but in the current state, there's so much wrong. Okay. Well, this is our first look um, outside of deciding that this would be worth looking at when it came out. So presumably I want cover. Mm. All my accuracy bonuses are not based on adjacency. They're based on, um, what, based on, uh, I wonder what my range is. Can I see range? I can, I mean, I think red and white lines are LOS. Like that's blocked LOS. Weirdly. I don't know why that's blocked LOS, but that's unblocked LOS. What's the green then in range of the weapon or in melee range? So it must be in range of the weapon because I just turned to green when I moved there. So that's useful. So you get three indicators. You get blocked, maybe out of range, maybe not even blocked. But it kind of looks like blocked, because otherwise, what, what is white? It might be optimal, too. Yeah. All right. 
We'll walk over here and shoot everybody. So how do I move? Cheers. Right click is move. Took an action though to move. Didn't realize that because now I can't shoot everybody. Rip. All right. Seventy-one versus eighty-six. <laughs> We didn't take cover. All right. Hugh Miller has a shotgun. Targets all enemies in the cone. Do you think it's an AOE weapon or it's a high damage weapon? It's acting like an AOE. I guess I can look. Do I see damage stats on a weapon? Yeah, I do. All right, there's quite a lot of stats on it, too. I wonder if weapon loadouts are going to be impactful. Yeah. Sure. All right. Uh, I want to shoot that guy. So what is this? The yellow is a dash, then. I wonder if dash movement's further. So I'm not going to be able to do anything about that. So I just could probably shotgun the shit out of this guy. Make sure he dies. Is it one to shoot shotgun? It is. So we're going to move to oh, here. Wow. And then we're going to shoot him. Does it hit my own guy? Is there friendly fire? It does highlight the cells that are affected, which is really nice. Okay. Alright. Uh, what does this person have? Reload. Burst fire. No targets available. Overwatch. Well, we're in tutorial and first one, so let's look. So I am now in range. I am. So I wonder if there is some issue with that then. Well, maybe. I don't know if I saw an indicator for distance that mattered. Did we shoot him with the Tommy gun? Yeah, we did. Hey, drunk Danish. Thanks for 25 months, man. All right. I want to try melee, so we're going to go melee him. The one to move there. I'm on it. And let's give him some punching. Uh, that could be a punch icon. But I don't know what that looks like to you. I don't get punch. Cheer. But why did I move after meleeing? I already moved to the location I wanted to melee from. That's interesting. You only melee from the front? Uh, we go next, so let's see if we can finish melee. Copy that. Was there a delay? There was an end, so that's end turn. Yeah. So I think we have a delay. So delay costs, okay. We can, I should have delayed then instead of ended. Looks like delay has to be used with full AP. Good to know. Uh, I want to melee this guy. So what I wanted to see then is what is the indicator? I can attack from there if I click the tile. Okay, so there are ways to do this. Yeah, it looks like I choose the tile to melee from, so I must have clicked on the wrong tile. Vale. Uh, easy fist ah. kill. Punch oh, him to death. Alright. Oh. You're gonna need more than a few guns to take out Ronnie and his guards. Luckily, the black market's got everything you need. Open the black market by selecting the shop icon at the top of the screen. Okay. Now that you're in the shop window, it's time to get yourself some provisions. Check the stats and effects of any item in the shop in the right window pane. If you want a recommendation, you can't go wrong with the first aid kit. Fresh from the Leave stage. the shop and you have what you need. Yet another one. Thanks for the uh, sub. All right, what's our current funds? Current funds are 2,700, paying 36 per time period. Does it give me an indication what the time period is? Not yet. Oh, weekly net income. So it's in weeks. Okay. How long ago did the game start? Uh, you can always check how long a streamer's been active for by exclamation point uptime. All right. Uh, they recommended first aid, so we have... I don't know what a zip gun is. Homemade handgun. Sounds terrible. Okay. Buy a hammer. Hammers are very expensive in this game. 
I'm not sure about you guys, but I think I can get a hammer around me in like a local hardware store for like under 10 bucks probably. Maybe, two, I don't know, it's been a long time since I bought a hammer, but I guarantee it's under 50 bucks. But this, this hammer is $5,000. Still at it? Still at streaming. Yep, haven't played Civ in a long time, but I'm glad you enjoyed the content. Brass Knuckles also very expensive. I thought about making that joke, good back, sir. Um, we can buy Nerve Tonic. Dull the pain nagging at your nerves and keep your mind on the task at hand. Temporarily reduce the amount of damage taken. Okay, so there's consumables. Healing kit is way cheaper than anything else we've seen yet. There's hip flask. What does it do? Minus five marksmanship plus 20 melee. We get drunk brawlers in this game. Sweet. Economy's all made up. Okay. Riot rounds at a thousand. All right, I mean, they recommended buying a med kit and I don't see any reason to buy anything else. We're gonna play the tutorial then we're gonna actually start the game. So, um, sure. We'll buy a first aid kit. What is the difference between a bandage and a first aid amount? Uh, the bandage is twice as expensive, but heals half as much. Here's 20 health each round. Remove one's negative status effect. This is a one time, okay. All right, sure, we'll buy one of those. All right. Purchase first aid kit. Let him know who's boss. I think we should use this first aid kit because uh, we're wounded. How do I do that? Let's find... This is Hugh. What Can I rename mean? people, I wonder? If I go to I... Roll maid. Oh, I thought I said roll mail, and I'm like, what does that mean? He provides the semen for the, for the gang. All right, Hugh Tank Miller. Profession Enforcer. Can I rename? No. Nickname as well. Okay. Hey, Swag. How are you doing this morning? How is uh, Crowfall treating you guys? How's uh, Dissient doing with uh, Crowfall these days? All right. So, where's our... Okay. You take a critical minus one morale. Loyalty and morale. One of 50. Became made. Plus 40. Made is like a made man or made is like made by the police here, you think? I don't know. Uh, let's do some healing. So I want to use this. Can I only use in combat? Uh, left click did nothing. Or rather right click did nothing. Left click. Left click brought me to an interface menu. I want to use it. Poverty. Draw fire. Oh, there's a talent tree. Fuck yeah. Alright. Biography. Background. Faith in boxing got him through a life of poverty. Now he's an impenetrable stone wall of a man. Sweet. Alright, but I still just want to heal him, game. So, um, stop trolling me. Maybe I can do it out of this in menu. Is there like an option that shows up here? Negative. Maybe combat's only for healing then? Or rather, healing's only for combat? Okay. Let's click on the brewery and right click on. attack. Do I have to. I think I may have attacked Assholes. him. Shit. I think I just brought one person in here. I would have preferred to bring the team. Okay. Part of 6-3 is dissolving the passive tree? What are they? Holy shit, that's a huge change. Sorry, chat, to derail. What are they, what are they replacing it with, Swag? Looks like I have a passive heal. So I guess we're going to start shooting people since we didn't bring the rest of the team. So we're going to absolutely take cover. Right. And then we're going to shoot him. With the shotgun. We save. Do we have limited shotgun ammo, for example? Like, what do I have? What does it tell me about this thing? Clip size 5. That's all I wanted to know. Well, I guess I should check rounds. Regular rounds. Regular rounds. How many shots total does that mean then? Don't know. All right, we're to shoot him. Get back in cover, bro. Okay, so he steps out to shoot. That probably tells us something about this guy just flanked us, but didn't shoot after moving. Weirdly. Got him. Bottom. Oh, right there. Four or five. Thanks. All right. 
So probably I can peek shoot this guy, right? Can I shoot him in melee? What do you think these numbers are? The red numbers there. I think it's Anxiety Prime. Welcome back. That's such a huge change, Swag. That's so weird. They're going to get rid of passive training. Right. Oh. Yeah. Health percentage, percent to hit. So if I want to fist this guy right here, how much damage? It doesn't tell me damage range on this. I guess I have to open up. It's kind of annoying not to have that on the hover. I guess it doesn't actually tell me the HP of this either. All right, let's try pistoling him in close range. 65% chance, is it the hit? Or 65% chance to go? There's the damage range when I actually select the weapon. That will not kill him. So it does show me health bar damage. So we're gonna try to pistol him to death. I thought I just fired that off. One right click, one right click. One left click. Call it doc. Uh -oh. Um, I'm nearly certain I pulled out the pistol. I think he just shot with the Bring shotgun. Yeah. Uh, that definitely fired with the shotgun, even though I told it to use. I guess attack looks like a pistol, but is not in fact a pistol. It's just attack with your primary weapon. How does that differ from shotgun blast then? Ah, there's some modifier here. The damage is AoE, but reduced damage. Bonus damage, 5-5. Five, five. Plus five, I guess that's 5 total. Uh, plus and top end, bottom end, I guess, is what that is. Alright, shotgun blast is how many ends turn? Wait, don't I have two shots? Where's my AP cost on this? Wait, why did it stop showing me AP? It doesn't when I hover. Okay, so it's one. I'm going to try double firing the AoE. Knocked him back as well. Assholes. So that definitely ended turn. Got him. Got me behind cover. I don't see a hit percentage, unfortunately. I always like it when I can see things like that. It's some sense. Maybe it will tell me about cover later. Alright, so we forgot to bring the entire team. We just brought the one guy, but he sold it without taking damage. Granted, you know, tutorial as well as low difficulty right now. We recovered a padded vest. Okay. You need to move into cover. Breweries are well guarded, and this is a tough fight. Take this racket over too. Wait, did it just critical to your empire? Give me combat tips after the combat? A small number of rackets. Oh. Select takeover to make this one yours. It's right. free to set up a racket of the same type you took over. It'll cost you to re outfit a racket as something else. Select brewery. Cook County Center. No. Hmm. Hmm. Salazar Reina, what the fuck are you doing in Chicago? And why are you stealing my rackets? Oh. I wanted to look. I wanted them, so I took them. Oh, this is the other guy. I see. How are we conversing with him? If you can manage more than two words, we need to talk face to face. You know where to find me. Summon me for a sit down. Step outside the brewery. Okay. Right. Jesus, he's telepathic. That's gonna be scary. Serious business. They usually take place in a boss's racket, but they can take place in safe houses too. Zoom out to the world map to find Ronnie's safe house. Right. Available racket building. Derelict building. Unknown faction safe house. 
What am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be... Oh, oh tutorial's gone. <laughs> Rip! Um, we're supposed to be going to that faction's safe house, right? But there's a bunch of them. If I zoom out further... Oh, cool. So these are different towns. I wonder if this represents the world map. Alright, where am I? Can I center? No. Uh oh. Oh, these are directional icons. Okay. Wait, now that you're here, look on Ronnie's safe help and begin to sit down. Ah. Uh, where? There it is. Okay. Begin to sit down. I want to begin to sit down, absolutely. What happened, Salazar? Did Los Angeles get too hot for you? I hear all sorts of stories. Yeah, ghoul? There's no one left alive who knows what happened except me. There's no one left alive who knows what happened except me. People are all talk. I say you're crawling east to a city that'll take you. Well, keep going east till you hit salt water. Chicago's taken. That's not very friendly. Shouldn't listen to rumors. You shouldn't listen to rumors. Right. But that doesn't matter right now. You think these what dialogue options is that matter? You stole my rackets. Now, what are you going to do to make it right? I'll feed you the flesh of the living. Nothing or pull a pull a gun. Let's pull a gun. Dead men can't hold grudges. Like surely he'll never I be expecting this. I wanted to give this. you a chance, but if that's how you want to do this, then fine. Guards, take care of him. Goodbye, Ronnie. Yeah. Questionable decision. It was a questionable decision to come here in the first place. All right. Yeah. Almost in a literal sense, to win it, to be the last one standing. Take Ronnie out, and his empire is all yours. Got it? Alright. So there was a round of combat during the tutorial. Presumably they went first. Where? There was something like B, like zooms in on the boss or something? Take Ronnie out, and his empire is ours. What is Ronnie? The guy with the hat, probably. Yeah. Okay. Enemy hat fighter. But here we are. kind of weird so cover is just los so like we can't peek over this cover to shoot that guy oh yes we can but wh why is why is he in cover from that position but not from this position i i don't know we'll have to figure this cover system out then because that doesn't make any sense to me shouldn't he be out of cover on both these and also look at the hit percentage I actually go up when I go there, simply from distance. So that one shows him as in cover, and this one doesn't. Or maybe I'm not reading those symbols right. All right, we'll go here. Take half cover and shoot this guy. I'm on it. Okay, turn to face us, which is good. I want I want him to know who shot him. Because ah. of the wall. Assholes. What wall? Why would my hit percentage go up? If the wall is in between us. Yeah, I'm looking forward to checking it out too. Alright, so the guy ran over and punched us. This is Mr. Shotgun. Are there enemies in here? There are. The wall to my character's right is full cover, and full cover increased my, ch my character's chance to hit? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I could shoot him in the back. I'm going to be out in the open, though, and get presumably shot by this guy. Also, this is my shotgun. And it doesn't actually do any additional damage to the target I want. But I am closer, and I don't know what her weapon is. Her weapon is that shitty Tommy gun, right? So we're going to go here, I guess. Sure. Right. Yeah. I, I don't know, Professor Pranamonia. I'm not too worried about that yet, though. Tutorial, right? But can I shoot them both? I can. I can shoot them both from here? 
No. Okay, so we are. You can see the tiles that I, I love that it highlights the tiles that are gonna get hit directly. So none of this like circular fucking targeting on us on a square board. That's really nice. Only a fifty percent to hit from there. Damn it! With the shotgun at what looks like about nine feet, twelve feet maybe. Oh well. All right. Uh, what are we doing about? Oh, there's two guys over there. It's a bit of a problem. What are we doing about this guy? Do I have an accurate like a distance rating on these weapons in some way? Clip size, firing modes, burst fire, effective range, medium. So there is a range. Doesn't tell me exactly though. Damage crit, damage crit chance. I wonder how long medium range is. So I can hover for accuracy or no? 56 from there. But it won't give me accuracy until I've moved to the location, it looks like. Kind of. Oh no, there's a 56 there. As we go closer, we actually get lower accurate. We go to from 56 to 52. What do you think that 21 is? He counterattacks? Or is this for this one, Overwatch? So there's an accuracy penalty with Overwatch, if I'm understanding that correct. But I can't Overwatch from these locations. Maybe I have to be behind cover to Overwatch. Guess we'll find out. All right, I'm gonna go there anyways. Understood. All right, two or three hit, but didn't kill him. We're gonna get shot in open ground. Got me through cover and miss. Hey, dang newbie. Thanks for the four months. Don't think there's a penalty to Overwatch. Well, it's a weird accuracy number there. So this guy is now in close range with me with the pistol, but chose to punch me last time. If I were to shoot right now, what happens? 66 on both. He has full health. I want to engage in fisticuffs with this guy at 68. Hunker. Overwatch path. I kind of want to set up an overwatch to see it. All right, but let's go with um, shoot them both. Dude, I love how this guy fires pistols. <laughs> Runs over here. Dude is a fucking brawler. I mean, that should be relatively easy to deal with. We just keep taking cover relative to him and shooting. I appreciate you. And. Shotgun blast versus regular shot. Regular shot's just a single target, higher damage. Oh, shit. Okay. Why did we get a shit? Was that him responding to being shot or our guy doing something wrong? All right. Reload, we're at 26 of 32. We're probably just gonna machine gun this guy down. It's end's turn, all right. Oh, Haven't seen anything God suggesting that people do less damage as they get wounded. Oh. So it looks like we're gonna be in a pretty standard uh, turn-based strategy paradigm where you want to remove targets off the field as soon as possible. I wonder if the fight, what I really want to test right now is if the fight ends when I kill the boss or not. So we should definitely work on checking that out. Um, If I wanted to attack him, can I attack him from there? I can, but there's no cover there either. I want to get LOS on him. Can I shoot him from there? No valid targets. How come you stopped giving me the helpful fuck? Oh, because I, I have melee selected? I want to see... How come... Where did my... I had nice LOS on the previous screen. Where did my LOS lines go? Why are they gone? Alright, I guess we're overwatching because I don't know why I can't get to where I need to go yet. Let's try and overwatch. Uh, yeah. Assholes. <coughs> is crazy with his movement so he's not focusing the target he wounded he's run over to attack her i don't know if because he's trying to take cover while getting a shot off or he's trying to get closer to his dude or what the deal is also interesting i think we acted twice since this guy's acted i'm not sure all right uh let's move forward 10-4 yeah. and either 
50% there. I thought it gave me a red line to attack that, but it's letting me shoot him. What's this 35%? No. Oh, I was gonna kill the boss, right? To see. Okay, we missed anyways. Damn it. Okay. Maybe thirty-five percent cover. I don't, I don't know. All right. So they're beating up Maria over here. But that guy doesn't have cover relative to us either. Let's give him some shooting. Okay. Moving in. He moved but didn't shoot. I don't understand why. Did he overwatch? Looks like he maybe hunkered. Or maybe that's just cover animation. Uh huh. Was there? I, so I see this has a cooldown. Does it show me on hover if it has cooldown or not? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna overwatch again. But he's probably gonna stay there and shoot again. Cause why wouldn't he? So movement's very slow in this game so far. <sighs> Uh, nope, he's doing random movements again, attacking, I didn't even, just sprinted, he didn't even fucking move and shoot. Maybe this is tutorial AI? Alright. Right on. Alright, so we killed him, it didn't end the fight. I wonder if there's friendly fire. Can I miss? Vale. Shoot people behind them. Call a doc. Ah. Oh. Right, are there other enemies left? Oh, he's bleeding out, but he's not dead. Execution. Cheers. <laughs> I'm not surprised. We recovered a purple revolver chat. So there's rarity on weapons. I love that that is just now a thing for all of time moving forward uh, or uh never or weapon systems since wow. We now have a purple revolver. Amazing. Ladita, thanks for the re uh the two month sub. I was gonna say resub, but I think it's a month. Yeah. Um Seems good. I think it was WoW that started the, the color coding of uh, weapons, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I know there were games before WoW, but I think the color coding of weapons, like based on rarity with that color scheme of green, blue, purple, orange was a WoW thing, right? Diablo 1 had it, that color coding. I want to know now. Why don't you guys do me a favor and Google the EQ color coding? Because I want to know. I, I've been I've been attributing that to WoW, but maybe it isn't. Okay, got a safe house. Okay. 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 To keep tabs on your empire, open the Empire Overview screen. This is your empire at a glance. Everything you need is here, and it goes pretty deep. You can see things like who runs the neighborhood, what people are drinking versus what you're serving, what others in the neighborhood are up to. You can see opportunity, too. Optimize alcohol, get an underboss and an advisor, add some synergy bonuses, or even a hotel. When you're ready, select the racket tab. All right, so quite, a, I mean, good. I, I like complexity. We got some complexity going on here. A lot of information on the screen. Cheers, Dro. Thanks for the reset, man. Happy Wednesday. Yeah. First appeared in Diablo 2. I believe WoW was released before Diablo 2 though, right? Maybe I'm thinking Diablo 3. Was there a Diablo 3? Are we up to 3 on Diablo or 2?
Anyways. Alright, so I have to give it as a blizzard color coding then. You have returned. Is he with twins? You had your twins, TNSC. How how long ago? Who would have guessed? Uh, cheers to the reset, man. 70 months, such a long time. Thank you for the support. Congratulations. Eight months ago now? I swear we talked about this, like, not long. You're like, we're having twins soon. Maybe you told me that they did happen. Or maybe we just haven't chatted in a while. It's totally possible. Alright, so looking through this, um, we can assign a lieutenant. Don't know what that means yet. Like, do I only have one active group? And is this kind of like um, Phoenix Point, where I put people in locations to guard and they basically do that for the rest of their life instead of leveling or not? We don't know yet. Racket synergies. So these are almost like uh, Golden Age triggers, right? Two pair. Own two rackets of one type and two rackets of another type. Gives me some small synergy. Five of a kind gives me a big synergy boost, okay. And this is this neighborhood. Do I want to maybe spec neighborhoods in a specific way? Oh. Diablo 2 was 2000, okay. I was thinking, is Diablo 3 the one they released in... Um, not too long ago now, maybe like uh, 10 years. Is that the most recent Diablo? I kind of forgot there were three, honestly. Right? Okay. Yeah, been a while. All right, anything else about this? Uh, what is this? Overview, owner is nobody. Prosperity is mediocre. Preferred top shelf. Okay. The customers have preferences. The racket tab shows every racket you know about. Makes me so happy to see menus like this. You can see what level of upgrade they're at and compare your own. Now, okay. select customer. What am I getting from this? Upgrade the level they're at. What level they're at compared to others. Okay, so the wheel is upgrades. One of five, it looks like. Income eight barrels, income two barrels of alcohol, presumably. Work by security, okay. Cool. The customer tab shows how well you do in filling your rackets with customers. You can increase customers by upgrading your word of mouth advertising, locating next to other rackets, or improving your ambience. Next, open the finance screen times okay upgrading word of mouth advertising the finance tab gives you an overview of everything you're making and spending last select alcohol I like that we have a specific alcohol tab the alcohol tab gives you an overview on what's being made and where you can see your upgrades here as well, and how they can be improved. Hit F8. Head back to your safe house. The upgrades here as well as how they can be improved. Production. These are the different things I'm producing, I think. Yeah, alcohol type swill. How do I change it, I wonder? Tutorial locked, all right. Looks like you just got a mission. Get a better look at what you need to do. How far do you think I'm into the tutorial now, chat? Because I'm kind of like to start the game. This is enough tutorial for me. All right. Here you can see a list of ninety-five percent. Cool. As well as each mission's requirements and descriptions. You can toggle completed missions by selecting the closed tab. Your active mission will also appear on the main screen. Okay. Close the mission screen. You need to get moving. Get a crew. Get rockets. Fortify. I said get rockets. Make allies and enemies, and take them out. Okay. So what now? Well, that's up to you, boss. You've got the tools to take over this city. How you do it is up to you. Take a look at your mission journal to get started. You've got to take this city piece by piece. If you want a suggestion. You can start by taking control of this neighborhood first. Good luck, Kingpin. 
Yeah, I don't want to skip it because I, I, it looks like a complicated enough game that I should walk through at least their tutorial. Okay, so we walked through the tutorial. I'm going to take a quick break here, uh, and then we're going to um, probably launch again without the tutorial uh, and look at difficulty settings, see how it goes. Okay, uh, I'll be back in just a second, chat, and then we will get to it again. See you guys shortly. Okay, let's take a look now at actually making some decisions based on the information we picked up. So, looks like it's going to be some kind of light turn-based combat that doesn't actually look that engaging quite yet. Um, we'll see how the AI behaves in that and a lot of uh, kind of base building across the across the city. Um, Alright, what settings are there? These are uh, game settings, not um, difficulty settings. Where do I choose difficulty? If I click new game. Sure. Hey! Good choice. Someone told me I was playing on normal, but I don't know where that is a setting. Uh, I didn't see it on this screen here, so presumably it's coming there. Quick start, settings, credits, quit. Settings did not have a difficulty that I'm aware of. Gameplay. I don't see anything there. Difficulty and options, tutorial. Pick your boss first. Okay, thanks. That's what I was that's what I was wondering. Do I pick it now or after that? Sure. Alright. Go choice. Stampede. Alright, let's read through some boss abilities. Now we have some sense of what the hell is going on. So this guy, brothels make more money. Speakeasy start with an extra level on their upgrades. Neighborhood threat generation. Minus 50%. We don't know what threat is. Threat wasn't even mentioned in the tutorial. Charge forward, dealing a large amount of damage and knocking back the first enemy in your path. It sounds terrible. Firing Good squad. Decision. Make your allies do it. At your command, any friendly or allied characters that are within range of, your, of you will open fire on your selected target. Seems like a lot of burst potential there. Brewery storage upgrade, casino security costs, neighborhood threat generation. So they have just the same hey, bonus, good just different name. Giant joint. Oh, when opening a speakeasy. When good opening decision. a casino, I see. Okay. So you are a boss now. Are Extreme you? abilities over the highlighted area. Anyone caught in the area of attack suppressed will take damage when they move. Brewery cost, brothel cost. Maybe we don't have enough faction. Passive faction rating gain when in a defensive pact. Unless you can get allies. Sweet. 
I'm Frankie Donovan. Who the fuck are you? I like his attitude here. It's helpful. Will be our attitude. Unleaf a flurry of devastating melee strikes against your enemy. Every kill renews your fury and restores your AP. What is my fury? This is another another resource. It causes you to become exhausted. We've not we've not seen anything. We've not seen anything resembling. I wonder if these are debuffs or another resource or what that is. Like, there's no fury meter. There's no exhaustion status effect that we've seen. Brewery production rate up. Speaky to word of mouth cost down. Negotiate effects with other factions from previous wars. Cool. I might. This guy looks somewhat promising, mostly because of his attitude and his accent. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> okay. Fillet your foes with the barrage of throwing knives. Select multiple targets or a single target multiple times. Once selected, release a flurry of knives. Brewery guards plus one. Speaky upgrade cost minus 5%. It seems like a very small figure. Faction rating when honoring packs plus 100. Honor gain when honoring packs plus 50%. Okay. Goldie Garno, the one and only. Uh, bring your enemies to their knees. Place your mark on your enemies. Once marked, fire a shot at each target. Each shot has improved critical chance and ignores defense. Speak easy earnings, casino upgrades, threat generation. I don't, none of, I, I don't really like, I don't really care about the combat skills. The combat, at least in the tutorial, was insanely easy. Good easy. Choice. Introduce your enemies to the deadliest blooms, select multiple locations, throw a bomb at each. Bombs explode in a cloud of smoke, poisoning all nearby characters. Plus one brothel guard, casino game cost. Enemy trades and truces do not reduce faction ratings with factions and business arrangements. I don't know what any of that meant. All right, what's a good one to start with? There's so many. Cool. All right. What does her tattoo say? The city girl. Uh, lion tamer. Target an enemy character with your whip, drawing them to a nearby tile. Deliver a devastating punch once the target is in range. Dealing damage and knocking them down. Easy raid chance. Brothel security. Faction raiding when breaking treaties. Let's do some business, you and me. All right, we're going to choose one of these soon, chat. I just want to finish reading, uh, reading through these. Keep us hallway. Yeah, I'm just not playing him. I didn't like him. Are we back all the way now? Jackson, How many are there? Surgically unload a full clip of your pistol into the target. If the target dies before the clip is empty, another target is automatically chosen. Each enemy killed by last rights reduces its cooldown. Brothel raid, casino earnings, threat generation with large empire. How's it going, kid? Wait, was this the other guy? Or is he just a... Oh no, this guy's got a different accent in a bat, not a hockey stick. All right. Mabel Riley. Nice to meet you. La Reina de Chicago. What did she just say that as? I heard her say Chicago. I would never have got Chicago from that name. Say it again. So yo, Elvira Duarte. Ah, oh, there it is, Duarte. Okay, makes sense. Blow a cloud of psychotropic smoke into your target's face. The target will temporarily become your ally, but at a cost. The effect will cause damage over time, eventually killing them. <laughs> that sounds awesome. You mind control somebody and they die from it, so you don't even have to kill them afterwards. It's an interesting combat effect. When making non-aggression packs, other factions plus a hundred. I don't know what the that's going to be like yet. Good choice. Okay, this is all the way through. So how many was that total? That was. And I wonder, are these always the same chat? The starting options for who you have. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 12, Mabel. 13, Soil. 14. Hey. There's 14 starting characters. Wow. Okay. Cool. That is a lot. I wonder how much of a difference they have. Like how different the gameplay is with each of them. Are you always going to be using your boss in fights? Who do we want? Do we have any any sense of who the hell we want, chat? Al Capone. So, what's the crack? I almost want to try so this. You're a boss now, are you? Oh, what's that? <laughs> this is Al Capone. Mike Crow Jamma and Daniel is OP. Who's Daniel? I don't know that I need to start with someone OP. I just, I just 
You and I could do good. That ability did together. sound good, this one, but I don't know what the rest of the value of the rest of these. Like I kind of wanted to do the. I, I kind of want to see what good having choice. an ally is like. So maybe one of the ones that has. Let's um, do some business together. Has a. Uh, Hi there, it's Maggie. One of the ones that impacts just, stuff over time. No, no information. Hey, make a decision no. always makes it hard for me to decide. Action rating when honoring packs plus one hundred. Honor game when honoring packs plus fifty percent. These sound something interesting. Additional brewery guard plus one. I don't like his other abilities though. Like these don't seem interesting to me. Hey, I'm your only man. Hmm. 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 Al Capone, how you doing? I want to try this stronger bonds. Let's see what let's see what the diplomacy side of this game can do for our first playthrough. All right, neighborhoods ten scales from three to ten. Enemy factions scale from ten to more. Difficulty lieutenant, underboss, boss. March 1920. Al Capone arrives in Chicago. He left New York. Didn't read the rest of it. Okay. Good evening, sir. You said Chinatown, right? That's right. Just in from Brooklyn. Give me the local lowdown. That's right. I'm just in from Brooklyn. Give me the local lowdown. Oh, good. It's voice acting. I don't well, read it. Well, if you're looking to move some hooch, you ain't the only one. A lot of two-bit gangs are looking to make their mark on the city here. Haven't met me yet. They haven't met me yet. I'll give them a taste of how we do things in New York. Did you say you're from Brooklyn? Ain't been there in years. How's she holding up? Eh, she's holding steady, friend. My buddy Frankie Yale's running things there now. Swell guy. Gave me my first job. Weird to have to Frankie select an option Yale, when it's huh? not an option. The same Frankie Yale that just showed up in Chicago? You're shitting me. Frankie's in Chicago? Well, his name was definitely Frankie. Drove him myself. Italian guy, coming in from New York, right? Carries a box of god-awful cigars with his face plastered on him. Don't tell me there's more than one of these guys. That's Frankie. You know where he's staying? Nah, he didn't say. But I can find them for you. If you help me with something. You need? What do you need? There's a gang that's been messing with my cab. Slashing my tires, stealing stuff. They're trying to rattle me. I'd appreciate it if you took care of them. Okay. Uh, what's in it for me? Sure. What's in it for me? Apart from Frankie Yale, how about I give you a line on a few crates of booze? That ought to keep you going for a while. All right. You got a deal. Thanks, Mr. Capone. Say, looks like we're almost there. It's been a pleasure. Good luck to you. Likewise. Okay. All right. Load screen, I guess. Uh, I'll skip it. You got it, boss. I've been around the block a time or two, so I've left some. Racket unlocked. Speakeasy. Uh, what was it? P to pause. I don't know if time matters, so let's pause in case it does as we look around. I'm kind of expecting the world map to pause it, but it didn't look like it did. Some derelict buildings around us, a brewery, safe house. Is it our safe house? Yes, our safe house. And a speakeasy right next to it. How do I tell if I own them or not? Brick by brick, hold five rackets is our mission. Sure. We're in Chinatown. Okay. Color. Is blue the color that means we own it? Do we have I guess I could also check, hold on. 
Empire Overview. So we have these three things. Great House, South Terminal, Outfit, Safe House. We do own two of them. Okay. Alright. What then do we want to do? Where do I see? So we have a primary mission somewhere, right? So let's see where we find that. Gangster stats, skills, and inventory. Black book. Mission journal. Brick by brick. Guess who's back in town? Take care of the thugs. Environments confront the thugs. Okay. But where? Give me like a location? Yeah, it does. So I get a toggle on the mini map when I've done that. I guess I might as well take these buildings along the way. Hmm. Okay. What else? Can I upgrade these buildings from here? Close cell, move to info, enter, look inside. I can. Uh, can I shift my overlay? Yeah, I gotta figure out what information we need blocked or unblocked for now though. Like, I might just need a few more minutes before we do that. Remind me in like, maybe like a half hour or so. I'll try to pay attention as we're doing this. Alright. So, we start with zero cash. We're making 200 a week. But we can't probably do much of anything unless people don't want upfront stuff. So there's no upgrades we can do. Okay. Um... How do we hire people? The last time they were just like hanging out out front. The last time it was like after we shot somebody, they showed up. Are these people to interact with? Outfit guard, no. Uh, all right. We have gangster stat inventory, black book, manage your crew and hire new members. Yeah. From here, you can see which gangsters are available for hire. Their relationships. Th You'll notice that some gangsters are grayed out. That's cause they won't work for just anybody. You've got to gain notoriety, knock over some records, and maybe take out a few thugs, and you'll be well on your way to increasing notoriety and getting bigger and better gangsters. Select a gangster to learn more about them. Okay. So I can only hire, these are the ones from the tutorial. And is this us, the guy talking to us? I, I guess maybe this is by, this is their unlock notoriety, this number here, probably. All right. What How do you do? Key things you've got to know about every gangster. Three key things. Sure, you're gonna tell me what they are. The first thing is loyalty. Yeah. Loyalty is a measure of their time with you. The longer they're with you, the higher their loyalty goes. The higher their loyalty, the lower their cost, and the less likely they are to flip if the cops get to them. Okay. The second thing is morale. Morale is a measure of how satisfied they are. Morale goes up and down depending on how things are going. When enemy gets clipped, morale is going to go up. The more satisfied a gangster is, the better they perform. The third thing is traits. Traits are reflective of a gangster's experience before they met you. But they evolve through gameplay too. Traits affect all kinds of things, from their actions to their interactions with others. Cool. Some even traits are evolved through gameplay, gameplay is interesting. There's plenty to learn on the gangster's rap sheet. So explore different areas to get more information. Okay, so, okay. so this guy. All right, we'll do that in a second. Fell on hard times. <laughs> There's so much to look at on these people. Life lesson. No man is an island. This person loves to be in the company of others. The more, the better.
I guess the crit increase by five when they're flanking. Minus defense, but plus initiative. 20, 25% chance to bleed out instead of die. Low. Oh, there's injuries. This says minus 20 injury chance. So maybe we can get injured as well. That's kind of cool. We resist crits and have minus injury chance. Allies around give us additional marksmen. Neighborhood casino income plus 10%. Oh, so maybe we can... We I, I wonder if we build them as combat or management or both. Either way, I think we're grabbing this guy. I want to take a look at these relationships here. So we have no one on the team except our boss to start with, I think. Thanks, Japati Bun. And good morning, Billy. So... Uh, Alright, how much of this is blocked for you guys? Shoot up. This up just a little bit, perhaps. Not blocked. Yeah. Hail and labor. What? All right. Um. So what does this tell me? Where do I see this? So this is their relationships, but I can't yet tell. Is this red? They don't like these people. Purple or uh, uh, heart? They love this person. I hover the person and it. Okay, this person's in love with this person. I think. Okay. Now I hover this, it says is in love with this person. So this guy's name is Grover. This woman's name is. Don't know. Yeah. Okay. The black book to see relations. I go back. That person's name is Minerva League. Oh, okay, okay, went over there. HP bar. Gotcha. Well, they want 3k up front. So this is probably irrelevant since I'm nowhere near 3k and this is the cheapest one. So we might just do this later. I just, just noticed that. How do I back? I want to go back. So if I hit close. Okay, it does close the whole thing. How are you? Where's the up front? Up front's 3,000. Up front's hey, 3,000. Okay, so we're not even close. All right. So we're going to be a while before we can hire anybody. So it's time to go solo some fights. Um, I think we're going to stop along the way at this derelict building. Okay, occupied rackets are yours for the taking. All right, so let's go here. We have to go there eventually, right? Start here. Rebel 2, attack. I think I'm still paused. Yeah. So I issued a command wall pause. Is it happening? Maybe. I don't want a space bar pause. P is really awkward. I don't know if time really matters that much. That's a week income. It's so far from now, a week. We have like a day count somewhere. Maybe we have the current date. All right. Uh, I can't immediately tell in here where the thugs are. Outfit guard. When I hover, I can find two of them, but do I get some sense of walking in how many there are? I know the difficulty said outside low, but it didn't seem clear what low means yet. So maybe there's just two? It's my racket? What? I didn't want to go in there. Why is it there? I told it to go here. I don't know why we're in here. I was just setting up to kill my own people, though. Thanks. All right. Out, the outfit might be the name of my empire, sure chat, but I was assuming it was using it generically as this outfit, as in this particular one. I want to go here. I've told it to travel here like three times. I can go there. Am I here now? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Do you wish to attack the derelict building? Uh, let's take a look at our inventory first. Do I need to know anything about this guy? Well, he's got 5,000 traits. Increases your melee skill and melee damage. This effect increases when you're drunk. Child labor. 15% reduction in time taken to learn boss talents. He's got leadership and marksmanship. Morale gain and loyalty gain. Amazing when talking. 
temporary adds plus 20 when sitting down. Okay. He's happy, which makes him a better shot. <laughs> of course, when you're killing people, it helps to be happy. And Barroom Brawler. He gets drunk, he does a bunch more things. Do I have equipment? I should set a skill to train. There's, I haven't even seen anything about skill training. I assumed it was going to be, I get experience for taking fights. I assign things based on the experience gained. Is there passive training as well? So, I have Reign of Fire. These maybe are unlocked. Uh, both these are surviving. Alright, I see. So I passively train over time to get the next tier of skill. I, I don't know how hard this is going to be yet, so it's tough to get any evaluation of these skills. Any character within 4 meters of you will bleed out instead of dying. Uh, regardless of the amount of damage you take, you're now guaranteed to bleed out when your health reduces to 0. Or you no longer trigger enemy overwatch shots when moving. I'll take that, just to see, but... I don't know. Okay. Uh, what is this again? This is just like my trait tab. But the trait tab is the same I can get from here, just hovering. Maybe some of these are active at some point. I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out. All right. The only other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to look into our inventory. Do I have any inventory item? How do I tell if I've an inventory item or not? If I unequip that, where does it go? I did unequip it. And I can get it back by clicking on it. No, I can't. Gone forever. Yes, I can. Take it from storage, sure. But where do I see storage? Black book, mission journal, black market vendor. We made 200 when I wasn't looking, so a day has passed. I think we're paused right now, right? No. So time was passing as we were in that window. That's questionable. All right. Mm, diplomacy, Empire Overview, Finance Information. I don't see where I find my supplies. This is the diplomacy screen. As you meet other bosses, you can offer... You can see at a glance how you're performing against other factions, how they feel about you and why. Keep in mind that bosses have their own unique personalities that affect how they feel about other bosses. Police are here too. Keep them sweet and they'll do you favors down the line. Head to the next tab. This is where you can go to set up sit downs with other bosses. You can trade, set up a standing order of alcohol, set up a business arrangement, and set up pacts, among other things. Police have their own set of actions here, different from other bosses. You can bribe them, bail your crew out of jail, and even get the cops to hey, protect okay. you if your rating is high enough with them. Non aggression pacts and protection pacts are a useful way to increase honor. They're a promise from you to another boss to back off each other or protect each other from outside threats. Breaking a pact will result in a massive loss of honor, making it harder for other bosses to trust you. Head to the next tab. Here you can see your history with this boss as well as kind of seem cool. their agenda. Now, head to the last tab. Here you can see how you're ranked against other factions by strength, cash, alcohol and rackets your strength is a combination of your net income and your hired gangsters you'll become stronger if you grow your empire increase your income or hire more gangsters explore different tabs to get a better idea of how you all right so i wanted to take a look at this so i need the title of this to when i hover like it tells me but like, I don't remember what each of these called. That's called Agenda. Oh, it is. It's here. Action. And this one's not called anything. Okay. These are actions I can take with them. How much does it cost to bribe if I wanted to take this action? Oh, it's a scaling bar for how much? Notoriety. Honor. Do I know any other factions yet? I don't. I only know the police faction, it looks like. Or can I change factions somewhere? Don't know. 
find out. But I like that there's another tab here. I like that there's more things that we might want to do. More options, more ways to control the game, more ways to impact it. Sounds fun. All right, so we're going to... I still haven't found my inventory, mind you. So I guess let's take a look at the black market. Where the fuck is my inventory? This is what I can buy. New stock every 90 days. Things are very expensive. Dude, to buy a lead pipe, it's $5,200. Holy crap. Okay. I don't know where my inventory is, chat. If you guys know how to see my inventory, I'd like to know. All right, meanwhile, let's uh, let's move into this building. Cell mode in... So to find my... Where's cell mode? Cell mode is P. And this is everybody's, including equip stuff? Okay. All right. Let's go attack this building. Hey, you got, got it. Do you want more pointers about how combat works in Empire of Sin? Yeah. So, for whatever reason, there's four of them in here. I don't know how to tell that. This was the lowest difficulty rating that there was. One of five. And there's four guys here. So I don't necessarily know. We need to figure out how to find that information out. Um, if we fire, it ends our turn. So no reason not to. Although, fire hail a bullet to the target area. All characters in the target take damage and are suppressed. Suppressed was damage. How big of an area is it? Pretty big, but we probably want that for the next turn. So, I mean, we can move then and shoot, right? So, um, maybe we move here and shoot the guy. I wanted to, What I wanted to see if we had alcohol in our inventory so we could get that drunk brawler bonus. But anyways. Gotcha. Go here and shoot this guy. Thank God for hotkeys. Ooh, not a lot of damage for four enemies at 60 health. We did a quarter of one health, so it's 16 actions to kill them. And we, uh, every time we take a shot, it ends turn. So we're looking at 16 rounds. Moving. It's a bit rough. All right, the guy did shoot at us, but missed. All right. Um. So immediately I can see I'm blocking initiative. Let's move, or turn order. Let's move that just a little bit to either side for now. This brings us in a minute. Yeah. Uh, I think if you have done the tutorial, you get two higher guns for free. I did do the tutorial. But this is a new run after that. Yeah. All right. Um. So I need to kill this guy. There's two of them in there, and we don't know the cool. Does it tell me cooldown on this? Us one AP does not tell me cooldown. Do I see that somewhere else? Like, is there skills on the boss? Maybe, but I can't see him from here. I have to continue the tutorial. No, I don't. All right. I'm gonna shoot them both here. Won't be nothing left of you. Okay. The guy, wow, the AI seems terrible. This guy just ran over and healed. Also, is that gonna go on forever? Walked through our suppression field of fire to take damage. Same with this guy. And that turned out to be a very nice turn for us. We just did damage to three of them. All right. I don't know why they all run. They just don't want to attack into heavy cover, I guess. So I want to kill one, presumably. Six turn cooldown on that. I wonder if all cooldowns are the same. I think the other thing was six turns as well. All of these seem like a scam. So I'm just going to move and shoot this guy. I guess I could try to punch him and take cover. AI always wants to go into melee. Well, if I have to do a lot of fighting and the AI is terrible, it's going to be unfortunate. So... I do target with that, so I can punch from there. Do it. I'm on it. Dude, we just fucking heart punched him to death. Did you see that? Just like straight in the center of the chest and it killed him. Okay, the AI is moving to really weird positions and not shooting. Okay. 
Maybe we'll heart punch somebody again. We'll see. So I think that guy's in cover relative to us, but I'm not entirely certain. If I were to fire, does it tell me? Uh, not really. Seventy-eight percent chance to hit, crit six percent. Maybe he's not in cover. Half shield next to his name. I see. We just hit him an eighty-six in cover. All right, and if I flank his ass, like going there, ninety-eight supposedly. All right, let's go there. Gotcha. So is XCOM cover rules then? Yeah, ninety-eight now. I don't want to shoot the guy who's low health. What if I overwatch here? Fire reaction shot at the first enemy that moves, but it's that guy. It's the guy closest to us, so that's not gonna work. All right. Huh. Moves and no attacks. That's an attack. I think huh. it just told me a hit rating, 40%. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe. Maybe it's the boost. All right, so the enemy is taking a lot of turns where they don't do anything. This is like round three or four, and they've done fuck all so far. Which is great, but kind of questionable. If I can get, he's full cover relative to me, he's no cover relative to me, and that guy's pretty low. So I guess we're going here. I'm on it. And shoot this guy, so maybe combat won't be that enjoyable, we'll see. Call it Doc! Moving in. Okay, got hit for the first time in this fight. They spend a lot of time. I mean, movement, to be fair, the characters are very slow in this game. So it might be an issue if they don't want to shoot at me in certain, like, levels of cover. But, like, getting to the positions where you get higher is just very difficult. Like, higher hit chances for them. And it says mission one at lowest difficulty. So, but it does seem like the AI wastes a lot of their turns, right? We're gonna go here and shoot him, I guess. I don't want to brawl with him because eventually we're gonna we'll, we'll run out of health. This is what I was worried about at the beginning All of the right. fight. I wonder if I should. Is there a benefit to Overwatching? Probably not. Huh. That flanks us. Oh, it's a big hit. Okay. Moving in. Moving in. Guys reloading. I'm down to one shot on our pistol. So next is does it end turn to reload? It does not. Alright. I guess we're moving. Too bad we don't have one more tile, but I guess we're going here and All shooting right. that guy. Just said it was the lowest difficulty. No, this is max difficulty gameplay, minimum difficulty location. In other words, the, loca the locations you go to have a difficulty rating associated with them. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, fingers crossed, Pete. Fingers crossed. Alright, so another round where they don't shoot us. I mean, we are moving, I guess. As we don't have LOS here. Kind of weird. Wait, maybe I don't have the weapon. Oh, I don't have ammo. Doesn't say it ends my turn, so I'm going to believe it. I guess we could see if movement. Was, I'm, I'm gonna believe in the reload. Gotcha. And then move. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that was a sprint though. <gasps> Weird that guy didn't even. Like, maybe he couldn't see me. So I can flank this guy again. We've got um we've got our big cooldown right now. Which was pretty good last time. Let's see. Um, right. This guy's probably gonna move closer to us. If I rain of bullets here, like that seems pretty good, right? Ain't this a picture? Oh god! But he's suppressed oh. and died from it. Oh, he did run into it. Yeah. Okay. So the AI on the oh. enemy seems very and weak. Don't you forget it. We just picked up some alcohol. Uh, bitters. 
Maybe we didn't. Maybe this is an alcohol. I don't know what a bitter is. But I thought bitter was a flavoring used in alcohol, and I thought it was an alcoholic flavoring used in alcohol, but maybe not. I don't know what actually bitters are made out of. All right. Taking over the derelict building. We abs I mean, okay. Destroy the building. Closes it. Ransack the building. 25 days to ransack, by the way. Raid the building and steal anything that's not nailed down. You could walk away with money, weapons, you name it. The action will close the building for a short period of time, presumably 25 days, or take it over. Take over... I don't have a lot of money right now, although apparently this fight caught, took four days. Did we find loot here, chat? Bitters are made out of Twitch chat comments. Twitch chat tears, maybe, yeah. Uh, okay, unfortunately, from this menu, when I'm making this decision, I cannot pull open my Empire tab, which is a bit unfortunate, because I assume you're going to want to do this relative to your bonuses and what you have. Let's take it over, because why wouldn't we? Ah, uh, but we can't afford anything here. So, if I hit cancel, I go back. Okay, that's at least nice. So, at least I don't get locked into a decision that's going to cost me. So it looks like the minimum cost for something is about 2000 in cash. So, I mean, why would we don't, I guess destroying is just denying it to people. So I guess we just take 20 days of ransacking it. Raid the building and steal anything that's not nailed down. Confirm. Found a shotgun and 500 bucks. Nice. All right, do we heal between fights? No, or maybe looks we like do. Just got a new item. Head into the gangster's rep sheet to learn how each character has two utility slots and one equipment slot. Consumable items can be equipped to the utility slots. <coughs> equipment, like body armor, can be equipped to the equipment slot. Uh, okay. Two utilities and one equipment. We have two guns though, right? Huh? Select one of the utility slots. Highlight an item to see what its effects are. You can see which items are available and which ones are being held by another crew member. Select an item now and add it to your utility slot. And that's how it's done. You can do the same thing with weapons. All right. We can use handguns, melee weapons, rifles, sniper rifles, shotguns, submarine, <laughs> submarine, submachine guns, and machine guns. All right, let's grab this shotgun. Okay, auto equips ammo. So presumably guns come with regular rounds then. Bitters are strong alcoholic herbal infusions. What are they made out of, though, is what I'm asking. So are they inherently alcoholic, or are they just flavoring? Yeah. Rarity uncommon, clip size 6. Sure. We don't have any other things, right? But we still can't see inventory. Yeah. All right. I don't want to cheese the game. So if you know exploits... um. If I discover them, feel free to talk to me about them, but I don't want to know exploits, really. All right, uh, we're still training, that's fine. Recent history, killed four thugs and we're wounded. We have a med kit, can we use this here? I don't know that we can. All right, let's see how much time, how much healing we do over time. So we ransacked this. You've picked up a new tier of weapon, head into the I know I picked up a new tier weapon. I equipped it already, bro. Um, this is definitely fucking game... I don't like game time happening as I'm trying to decide what I'm doing here. Alright, difficulty 3 of 5. If this was difficulty 1 of 5, there's no way we're going to be able to handle that alone. Thank you, Bylus, for the 7 months. Welcome back. Alright, so I guess I'm heading to this location. Confront the thugs. Uh, what was the minimum hire cost? 3k, right? So we're quite a ways off yet being able to hire anybody. Alright. So I don't seem to have very many options except go there. So let's go there. Move to. Unpause. Move to. It doesn't look like issuing, well, ah, uh, game. So what's happening with my character right now? It's staying still. I unpaused it. I wish to go here. The fucking go there. <sighs> um. 
What am I not understanding? Is the pathing gotcha. bad? Maybe it's a right click interface. I click the option within the wheel. Okay. Feeling slowly but surely here. Yeah, you can cut through buildings, which is nice. You e dot for the four months. Okay. All right, so we're moving around on this map, which seems fine. Okay, now we go to this map. Uh, maybe. Never Why do I walk up to them? Hold on. Um, so I guess we have the option now of just killing them all in the, the street. You Orpheo matter. 11 months, welcome back. Um, I guess I want to go here then open up. Do I want to talk to them? What's my mission? Confront them. Look at, talk is grayed out. No, it's not. Uh -huh. What the fuck are you doing in our neighborhood? Begin combat. Your neighborhood? I must have missed the welcome mat. Give you five seconds to clear out. I've got a better one. You leave Sal's cab alone. I don't fill your guts with holes. Who the fuck do you think you are coming here out of nowhere? You can't tell us what. We're the white hand. We do what we want. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Can do. So I gave up ambush to talk to them. Talking did not seem to help me very much here. I've healed almost fully. All right, and this was only one AP. What's the range? Oh my god, all right. So we're just going to kill the entire team with this. I'm glad I took that AoE one. ability on the boss, I guess. We'll move to hardcover. And then we will... Where's my shotgun? Oh, I have both equipped. Why does it choose to use swap weapon zero AP? Okay, I wonder if you can swap multiple times around or not. You think Hail of Fire is restricted to a certain weapon type? Let's just use this for now. Bandit, take out the trash, fellas. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he runs in. We have a Tommy gun. I don't have a Tommy gun, so I'm not sure how I'm, I'm doing this. It. I have a pistol and a shotgun. Did the punch cancel my spray? It may have. Okay. All right. They all melee the fuck out of me. It's kind of bad news. Okay, but. Feels like AoEs are going to be important right now. Let's switch weapons. Swap between primary and secondary weapon. Yeah. Now we get our shotgun. Shotgun has an AoE attack. Gotta look at what the facing is like. Pretty good. Wait, I thought I just did that. Yeah, fire, dude. Okay, rip those two. I'm on it. All right. So we have med kit option for one AP. We have used the bitters for temporary HP and movement. We got those two done, dealt with. We do regular shotgun blast here. Because he's in cover relative to us, he's in hard cover because of the positioning, I guess. The shotgun looks like it has a max range. I go to there, I start losing accuracy. I go to there, I lose accuracy. So it is scaling accuracy based on distance. Those fall off, in other words. Go here. Gotcha. Give him a shot in the shot with the shotgun. All right. So we just murdered three people. It's not daylight, don't you but on the street, and we recovered a beautifully crafted nail bat. And a Mauser C96. How do I say it? Handgun. Okay. And we stole 282 bucks from them. Yeah, this beautifully crafted uh, nail bat is worth uh, $9,500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, and the cab driver just was, like, hanging out. Once he sees these puddles, look at the decomposing body over here. It's got, like, chunks of it missing. These two are just puddles. The woman's not bothered. It's supposed to be Chicago. I could see that. All right. Thanks for taking care of the assholes. You saved us from a heap of trouble. Excellent. Uh, Sal said... Oh, this isn't Sal. This is, like, a representative of Sal. Sal said, you tell me where Frankie's hiding out. Where is he? Uh, yeah, he mentioned that. We've been looking into it. Looks like Frankie Yale checked into a nearby hotel, but he's been spending all of his time in Doe at the Naked Truth. If you can get in there, you should be able to find him. 
Okay, and what about the booze Sal mentioned? But there's crates of booze he's been stocking up. Should go to you. Take good care of him. Thanks. All right. Received 50 barrels of whiskey. Completed the mission. Mission complete. We got one, I think, notoriety and 50 whiskey. Sure. All right. New mission started. Eye does not close. That's a pet peeve of mine. All right. So what are we looking at here then? New mission is this. Is What's the hotkey for missions, chat? Black book is... I need to find the hotkeys. First of the hotkeys, key bindings. Hmm. I like interactables. I want to try that again in a second. I don't actually see rotate sheet. So this is I, maybe the other ones aren't combat, aren't bound right now. Is this for release chat or early access? Do you guys know? What's alt for interactables? I see, just the person. Yeah, I don't know if there's a point yet, pause, um, Monimus. I said that when I looked at that initially, but I thought it was bound to something else. I was expecting there might be something that I wanted to leave it bound for more often, but maybe we just cause it. Maybe we just pause it, it's fine. Execute actions in combat for spacebar, but I think we're gonna do it to pause as well. Just swap them, interesting. Okay. Empire of Tin? Did I typo it in the... No, I didn't typo it. Why, why are you calling it Empire of Tin? Okay. Alright. I'm listening. Hmm. Where are we going now? If I go to map, we're at 1800, but not enough. Available racket building. Our stuff over there is a two of five thug building and a th the one we just were at, three of five, another three of five. What is the, I wanted to go to the missions, but there's no hotkey, so I guess I have to click it. Uh, brick by brick, one reunion. One thing should go is rackets. Okay, this is build five of them. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. Speak with the guard at the door. Okay, I want to track this. Is there something else I can do? All right, so we're gonna go over here. Met new faction. No. Uh. Looks like you've been making moves in Chicago. Yeah, let's 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 talk. Sit down initiated. But where? Wait. Ending sit down. Where did it go? I just moused it for half a second and it disappeared. Oh, it's, it was a go over there. So another faction has met us apparently. And that's because they passed us in the street. Maybe they took this building? No, I'm back at the safe house. Oh, I'm not. They are at the safe house triggered this event. I'm where I was. And maybe that's how the faction happened. Keys are F1 to F9. Okay. Remember to pause. I don't know why yet I want to pause. So 25 days for the sit down. So we'll do that after, I guess. There's a police officer there. Interesting that it highlights. I wonder if I have to like avoid them. Uh, F1. F2, F3, F4, F5, wanted suspect. Okay. So I go back to, okay, F6 is our, um, weird that doesn't show that in the control settings, but thank you for putting that out. Uh, looks like there's our income, etc. Um, I appreciate um, my viewers asking me, like, like engaging with me on the game I'm playing for sure. But I, I haven't. I've been playing for like about two hours now, and we're like so so new into the game that I can't give you any sort of informed opinions at all. The first couple combats we've had have been fairly underwhelming, but I, I don't know if that's going to continue that way or what the deal is with that yet. So, um, TBD, I guess. Here in the finance info screen. To be determined. All right, um, let's just go to the next mission and see what that tells us. Yeah. 
Speak with the guard at the door. Yeah. We're going to go here. Move to. Unpause. Start walking. Okay. Orders given. Okay. Orders given while pause. Do order. Okay. Uh, we could also, while we're here, clean out this other thug occupied building for cash. I think we can handle a 205. Is there a save or a quick save? Well, F5 is not going to be quick save if it brings up stuff. So, uh. Let's see what this. Okay. I think we're going to go here and attack it. Uh, what's happening right now? Why are we walking past it? I'm not mistaken. I just passed the building and went to the other building. Dude, I can't cancel movement commands that once one. I've issued a commit movement command. Yeah, I can. But but issuing another command doesn't cancel a movement command. Gotcha. Oh, I'm not you clicking it. in it. I keep clicking the the name or the the word as opposed to the icon. Okay. Am I sure I want to attack it? Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Five enemies. All right. What do you guys think? Increase my HP by 50 and movement by three for two rounds. That's probably going to have to happen soon. Looks like I can uh, rain of fire with whichever weapon equipped. I think we want to do this as soon as possible. To get it on cooldown. Time to take out the trash, fellas. Seems lame your dude can soul these encounters, really? Because it feels like if you can't if you can't do anything, these are the only encounters available at the beginning of the game when I don't have enough money to hire anybody. If I can't solo these, I can't progress. So presumably I need to be able to solo some content. It doesn't feel lame to me yet. And maybe the enemies are just terrible AI, but they get hard because there's enough of them, or they do a high enough damage or something later. But you're right, the combat right now does not seem particularly good. Alright, this ability seems insanely strong, by the way. So all of the en enemies moved, but none of them attacked. They almost all took damage through that. They effectively ignored that as a thing. Alright, if I were to take this AoE attack, who gets hit? Yeah. I'm on the highest difficulty. Uh, what is this? So I can up my percentage probably by moving. I'm not sure if cover is worth anything or not. This guy definitely is going to shoot me next turn. I could take... So what is this? Two extra movement tiles? But it cost me an AP to use it. It cost me an AP to use it. So I should actually use it this turn if I'm planning on moving. All right. So we're going to take the bitters. All right. Let's see what temp HP looks like. Looks like it applies to current and max. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a shield kind of thing or not. And then we're going to shoot here. So did we get drunk? How do we see if we have like a drunk status effect? Because our guy does more damage in melee when he has a drunk status effect. But I don't know if we have that or not. Alright, so miss one, hit two, killed one. Bottom left. This for 19. Missed us with the pistol. Blanked us. Moved in. Okay, they're now blocking my movement tiles, which is a bit painful. We have bitters. And Barroom Brawler is now active. And what does it do for us again? Ten melee damage plus twenty when drunk plus ten melee plus twenty when drunk. What is the difference between melee and melee damage? I wonder. Yeah. Uh, can we AOE again? We can AOE again, man. There's no cooldown on this AoE. Oh, that's crazy. Alright, well we won't be pistoling. We want to catch as many of these guys as we can with the shotgun. I think I go to the corner here. We're going to be stuck, but I think I get the most damage out of it. Alright. And then I can AoE all four of them. 
They got me. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Oh. Dude, we're gonna be. Move it. Okay, our melee buff is down, although Barroom Brawler... So that, we don't know if that was active or not. So although our temporary buff from the bidders has expired, Barroom Brawler is still showing as active. And I don't think it's because we're drunk. I, I wonder if this trait just is there. I don't, I don't know why it's here. Does it mean that it's currently active or no? It was only 10? It wasn't. It was 20 when it was active. I don't know if this is currently 10 or 20. I don't know how to tell. Hey, V. All right. So we got this guy and that guy left. You don't think bitters are alcoholic enough? That's what I was kind of trying to figure out. So they may 